Hi guys, Mark Jensen here. Today we're gonna tie the two-tone amber shiner. Hang on. Okay, first I attach the tying thread on this long shank streamer hook. I cover the shank. And tie in a length of flat braid for the body. This material is great when you want to tie flies fast and uh, efficient. A flat braid body is not quite as impressive as a tinsel body with a wrapping, but for fishing flies it's a great material. Actually you can cover this body with UV glue or ordinary varnish if you want to make it more durable. Okay, first up I take some of the the light hair on this uh, amber buck tail. I have a few darker hair in here to give a little bit of life, but um, mainly it's uh, the light here on the side of the bucktail. I never stack bucktail wings. I want the natural taper of the tips here. That's it, just a few wraps to secure the material. Cut off surplus here. A single hair pointing down, I remove that. Then I'll take some ordinary fly tying lacquer or warnings and soak the butts, the butt ends of this uh, bucktail before tying in the next buns. Then I'll take some darker hair from the front side of the bucktail and tie them in right on top of the first bunch. And uh, we get this counter shading effect following the rules that just about any bait fish is darker on the back and light on the belly side. Then I'll take a couple of small teal feathers and prepare them by stroking the fibers backwards, the fibers you don't need, like this, making this little triangle shoulder part on this stream of fly. Same thing on the other side. Ok, 
out of the waste here. That's about it. It's a super simple tie and you can do it in a couple of minutes. And you got a very effective streamer. The secret to this fly's effectivity is to make sure you tie it sparse. You don't want a large bulky bunch of bucktail on this one. It's gonna be super light and airy. Add some lacquer to the head. With the lacquer inside this uh, material as well, everything is glued together and it's a very durable fly. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.